Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, it's Market Outlook time. Let's take a peek at this slow week of FIFA, as it seems, and just talk about what could be happening this week on the market. Now, the biggest thing, again, that we're talking about right now is icon swaps and objectives. That is kind of taking over this game at the moment. Everybody's doing those. But then we have Road to the Final happening this week, and potentially that Winter Refresh promo that we didn't see this last week possibly happening this weekend so we'll talk about that a little bit but the big thing is road to the final these cards are flying they're just absolutely absolutely going crazy which is what we expected because that's kind of the only thing that's going on and everybody wants to be involved with those items moving up and down in the market so a lot of people are investing in them causing their prices to go up um, and a lot of people are going to be expecting to trade those cards as we get closer to the games this week so honestly uh, that's where a lot of our talking points are going to come from today. We'll talk about icon moments a little bit too and the swaps because people are already grinding icon swaps, right? People, some, some people have already started finishing off these objectives. I've seen people opening the 82 times 25 packs, the 83 times 25, and they're basically just putting those in their club for fodder, right? Because the fodder right now, they released the mid prime SBC yesterday and repeatable mid icon pack. And of course, Let's actually start off by talking about this because we were kind of complaining about grindable content on the menus other than gameplay. And I know that, you know, this may not be something that a lot of people want to grind and put time into right now. Um, but EA is definitely giving you an opportunity if you really want to, to grind from the bottom up with this bronze upgrade and the silver upgrade. Now they've released these for the past, they've released these in FIFA 20 as well. But if you want to grind from bronze pack method, put those bronzes into this upgrade, get silvers put them into the silver upgrade and get four common golds instead of three from the normal upgrades. It's a lot easier right now to do this 82 to 88 upgrade and then just do that over and over and over and then hopefully get higher rated cards so that you can craft SBCs. That is something, I know it's only out for four days, but that is something that a lot of people, if you have a lot of time, you'd like to do that. That is one way that you can craft right now. And it's interesting to me that this is out until basically the end of this week. A lot of SBCs are expiring on Friday like all of the SBCs that we have out, except for El Shirawi, um, and then our Player of the Months, of course. But again, a lot of these SBCs, especially these upgrades, are expiring on Friday. Now, they'll probably re-up some of these at some point, but I'm just very curious to see all of these four days remaining. So I do think we are going to get a promo this Friday. I think they're going to have to. I don't know if we've had a week or a period in FIFA 21 where we have gone two weeks without a promo. So I'm not expecting that to happen this week. I'm expecting a promo on Friday in some way, shape, or form with new cards and packs, possibly when a refresh, possibly when our upgrades happening. And since it's a slower week in terms of like the menu content and stuff in packs, we could see loading screens later this week. We will see. But um, they did release also a mid icon upgrade that is repeatable out for two weeks. And then, of course, this one-time completion mid or prime upgrade, which, you know, we opened a couple of those on stream. Didn't really have many big Ws, but it seems like for 600K, this is not terrible value. I think if you actually look at the price on this, uh, the mid icon upgrade itself is 638, and this mid or prime is 669. So you have a chance at packing a prime icon, and it's almost the same price as the repeatable mid upgrade. So if you are going to craft an SBC this week, the mid or prime icon is not too bad of a shout. Um, and it has fodder on the rise right now. Again, we, when is fodder going to drop? We really, <laughs> EA knows they're just taking so many coins from people's clubs right now, making this SBC fodder so expensive. I think they just keep enjoying it and they keep wanting to doing it. So that's why you still see 86 rated cards, 28, 29,000 coins, crazy high on the SBC fodder situation. So we'll keep an eye on it this week, but, um, still, I'm just waiting for the time where I can say, hey, fodder is low, go in, buy some and stock your club up uh, because that time, you know, EA is just really taking coins off this game right now every single day when they release a new SBC like this one. So that's kind of going on right now. I, you know, throughout the week this week, content wise, maybe another SBC or two, maybe a, a random flashback SBC, you know, related to Champions League. We should have you, uh, UEFA marquee matchups coming out again. If you want to make some investments for that, you could be looking into Chelsea, Atletico, possibly Manchester City, 
versus Gladbach, of course, the, the second set of games for UCL this week. So watch out for those Champions League cards. They might be up already, but keep an eye on that. And maybe again, like a flashback or a player moments SBC for some sort of Champions League performance that has happened in the past. That could be content that we see this week. But honestly, it's probably going to be a pretty chill week um, apart from some road to the final market movements. Now, a lot of these cards are up already a ton, right? You looked at that in Diddy card right there. People are investing on multiple different bases here, but ultimately they're all investing on the potential upgrade coming for these cards, right? And Diddy is 320,000 coins. He was literally on Friday, 270, right? Because Lester, they drew. They're looking really good, obviously, for a second leg, being able to pull through and get that upgrade for the Europa League Road to the Final cards. But this week is a crazy week because, you know, earlier this week we had a couple upgrades, right? We had a Kanji who is now extinct. We had um, the Brandt situation. We had Salah, Wijnaldum, Draxler, and Icardi. Those were like the only Road to the Final upgrades that we had on Friday night of this past week. This Friday night, it's going to be crazy because all of these Road to the Final cards uh, from the second set of Champions League games for the uh, first leg of the knockout rounds and all of the games for qualifying for the round of 16 in the Europa League. So the third round of 32 games in the Europa League, those upgrades are going to happen. So we're going to have Europa League upgrades, which is honestly a lot of Europa League cards that are on the line this week. And that's really what I want to talk about. Some of these cards are a lot of them are really high. But some of them, I think, still have room to go um, higher this week. And I also just want to talk about, like, what does this mean for the market? Because everybody else is focused on these. You could still make a lot of coins in other areas with this team of the week. But for now, let's talk about Road to the Finals because a lot of people have bought a lot of cards like this. Now, we're going to do a specific video, like, trading on these cards and looking at the live in-game stuff uh, and talking a bit more about it. But specifically this week with how much these cards have risen up already a lot of people this is almost reminding me of how during team of the year post team of the year people bought all these cards on the, the sunday night monday and tuesday and team of the year cards hit their peak right Al, uh, alfonso davies was 2.2 million coins on the playstation and he's never been back there since team of the year cards got really high on that monday or tuesday after they went out of packs like um just that huge buy up time frame it almost feels like this so many people are investing in these road to the finals that, you know, the investment peak could have maybe happened on Sunday night or into today on Monday, depending on what the content is, just because so many people have invested. So just be careful with these RTTFs. Of course, my advice for you is going to be sell pregame, take your profit and run with it. And then if you want to trade live in game, do that as well. And that's what we're really going to focus on in that next video later today is just trading in the game. And I've got some tips and tricks for you guys on doing that. It's really risky, but it's really, really fun. And uh, you, you have potential for mad quick flips with mad profit. But Road to the Final Cards, I have three Promes that I bought for 240k a piece. And this guy's 300,000 coins, right? Of course, they are ahead right now. Wow, is he even going higher than 300k? They are up two goals to one against Lille. And of course, Renato Sanchez is the card on the other end of the spectrum right now. Some of these cards are still in a place where I think they could go up a little bit more pre-game. Renato Sanchez is honestly one of those. I think right now he's right around a million coins. Um, yeah, he's, he's chilling right around a million coins, which is kind of a low for him. I would not be surprised if this goes back up to like 1.1 mil uh, pre-game later this week. Same thing with Aubameyang, which Aubameyang has just recently rocketed up in price out of Weekend League, but he was just 1.05, 1.03, now he's up to 114. So I think this card, with Arsenal being in a draw scenario too against Benfica, they look to have the upper leg heading into the second leg. This card, I just said leg twice. That's really funny. I just used that analogy in a bad place. Anyways, I think that this could go to a 90 rated card very easily. And this would probably be 1.3 to 1.4 mil when they, Arsenal would score a goal in the game. And this card would obviously be quote unquote guaranteed the upgrade. So Road to the Finals are in an incredible place to make profit. If you already bought in, you're seeing your cards rise up, just sell pregame. That's the easy way to put it. Sell pregame, get your guaranteed profit, profit locked in, and then look to the rest of the market from there. But as everybody is focused on these RTTF cards and as everybody is like invested in them, they might not have many coins left over. I want to talk about a little bit of a sleeper buy, right? 
let's talk about this week's team of the week who just got supplied a little bit from uh, squad battle rewards and some of them have dipped off, dipped off a little bit. This team of the week is rare and it's going to be rare out of packs because, oh my gosh, 352 and that's just sitting there? Oh, it's of course it's gone. That was a 50k undercut for that a bombing right there. I don't know why I didn't instinctually try to buy that anyways. But um, this team of the week is really rare because there were no lightning rounds. I know it's not that great of a team of the week and there were extra player picks, but that really doesn't affect the supply on the market of these cards. I just bought an Obami at 400,000 coins just a bit ago. And uh, I think that's a pretty good investment because he was literally like 450 earlier today even. Urente, uh, the right mid Urente card. If you guys are still seeing these low prices on the team of the week when you're watching this video, uh, like Urente at like 310 or 315 is a great buy. He fluctuates crazily all the time. He was literally 315 like an hour ago when I was looking at him. And then also in Diddy, I think in Diddy's in form at like 60, if you can get it there, is a really good price to buy as well because this guy links to, of course, the brand new objective Fofana, which people will be completing and finishing out this week. And uh, I'm a big fan of that card right there because, you know, people who have less coins in this game, maybe the more casual audience, that'd be a great link up for those guys. So watch this team of the week out of packs though. I think it's a bit slept on right now. Not as many people are talking about it because all the hype is on RTTFs. Um, and I feel like these road to the final cards are uh, just getting all the press right now. And these informs are gonna do pretty well out of packs. Now, if somebody could list that 352 Obami again, that'd be fantastic. I would love that. But uh, whoever got that card made a nice flip. So again, from this week's team of the week, I would say Obamiang in Diddy, maybe even Lukaku is an 88 rated inform for 100K. I don't know where that runs in the stands of like a fodder investment. This John Stones was just 70K and that's an undercut at 62. So if you could snipe that at 62, that's a GG um, on Footbin. But that card is up a lot as well. A lot of this team of the week is high, of course, because of the inform requirements for the party bags and just people are investing in informs right now um, for fodder purposes. But I also don't want to forget about investing in meta informs to rise out of packs because take a look at this Abomang, for example. His road to the final card is 1.1 million coins. This card that is not even that much worse is 400k. And he's a pacey striker. He's a bombing. He's well known, right? A lot of people are going to want this card and he's very rare. Actually, how many pages of supply do we have in a bombing in total? One, two, three, four, and five, and maybe six six pages of supply right now on the PlayStation. That's not a lot of supply for a 400K card. So I do think the team of the week has the potential to rise pretty well out of packs um, this week, especially with the no lightning rounds. And I feel like it's kind of being slept on right now in a sense. So definitely take a look at some of those cards as a possible investment as we do head out of the weekend. And also looking at team of the weeks in general, right? Just other out of pack special cards. Like tonight on stream, we were looking at headliner sun was down at 1.1 mil flat. Right now he's back up to 119. Crazy fluctuations like that could be things you see this week and potential to buy some of these other cards um, that just get forgot about, right? Open bids or, you know, fluctuation trading could be great this week on icons, especially, and some of these out of pack specials um, because, People are focused on those road to the final games. Trading during the Champions League games, if you're going to watch Champions League and like, you know, have companion app or web app open, if you're watching a stream on your computer, that's like an incredible time to trade on open bids around the market because so many people are not watching FIFA, right? All the, the FIFA fans, the football fans across the world are watching the Champions League games. So that's kind of something to keep in mind too. There could be great, great times to trade there. I want to talk headliners just for a second. Benzema is doing upgrade. Upamecano is doing upgrade. I think I'm forgetting somebody else, but um, there is potential that these guys are getting bought up as well. Upa's up 30K. Benzema's up a decent amount. Just be careful with headliners because a lot of them this year have been getting bought up into their upgrade and then they actually drop post upgrade. The only one I will say though is Upamecano because with Akanji getting a plus two and the market and just us seeing how crazy that card looks with a plus two. I'm honestly thinking that with all of the center backs in the Bundesliga kind of going up in price a lot right now, <laughs> this one just might follow suit because this guy with a plus two, when he gets his headliner streak, since he's an 84, he'll go to an 86. This card might have 90 physical. He's going to have 70 passing, mid 80s pace. This guy is going to be an absolute 
force. 97 strength already. That's going to get maxed out to 99. He's going to have 90 aggression probably. So a plus two on this guy is going to make him insane. It's going to boost his acceleration where it needs to be boosted a lot. He's probably going to get in the mid 70s. His agility is going to go over 70. So um, I would keep an eye on this card, especially with the links that he has. Um, possibly rising up and being one of those headliners that actually rises up post upgrade. You might see a bit of a sell off from people. There's been people buying up this uh, Open McConnell card for weeks. Uh, and if you want to take the safe route, be my guest. Cash out at 430K or whatever he is come Wednesday. But then, of course, if there is a bit of selling after he gets the upgrade, then possibly a rebound after that. That might be a situation where I could uh, see that happening because of the just the demand I think you'll see for a card like that. But in general, trading this week should be actually kind of easy. On out-of-pack special cards, there's going to be less people on the market because they're grinding swaps or they're just not having fun with FIFA at the moment. So that's going to be less supply and possibly not saying more demand, but just rarity. And that's going to make cards fluctuate around a lot more, especially on those out-of-packs cards that we talk about so often. Now, there has been a pretty hefty weekend league sell-off with some of these gold cards, which is kind of what I was afraid of. And it's just going to keep happening, honestly. I think these cards are headed on the downward spiral out of the game. Neymar, 730. He was 760, 770. And Mbappe was 960. He's now 916. And Cristiano Ronaldo's gold card is down over 100K, I believe. He's like 1.068 mil. Now, I don't think that's like a crazy undercut or anything. I think that's actually his price. Yeah, he's 1.08 mil, which is pretty wild uh, to see Ronaldo that low and that quick of a drop. I think just so many people have done his SBC, uh, and that's kind of why he's down so much. But 107 for Ronaldo, down a lot. A lot of the other parts of the market are down too. Some of the future stars. I mean, this could be a place where you see some future stars cards bounce back up after the sell-off. Um, some of the meta ones that you've seen rise up a lot. This Harvey Barnes would be a 100% one of those. 430K at the moment. This guy was um, 490K during the hype of the weekend league. So definitely take a look around on some of these future stars as well. Team 2 and Team 1. This Anthony was under uh, 600K just a bit ago. Fatih is pretty low. Tapsoba's dropped down a bit. I mean, just honestly keep an eye on these cards, the ones that are meta that people want to use because I do think these will bounce back up later this week as they're very popular, especially that Barnes. I'm a big fan of him. Subasly was under 500K for a while today. Um, so he's down a lot too. Just keep an eye on the meta stuff, right? Record breakers that are rare, rule breakers that are rare, freeze cards, uh, other out of packs, informs that are rare. I think you will see some, some stuff that's just getting weak and leaked sold right now. Uh, you see like that open bid on the barns there for 417. That's just somebody that's, that's selling their card from their team and um, trying to get a sale on the bid. So definitely take a look at these cards. I do think that there will be stuff that will bounce back just because of rarity in the week this week. And I do think we're going to see a promo on Friday. I really do. I think it's going to be either winter refresh or winter upgrades or some combination of both. I don't know if they would run like a shapeshifters yet. I don't know if they would run a carnival if they're going to run that promo. Um, but I do think that there is going to be a promo this Friday. I don't think that EA can go another week without having no promo. So I do expect promo team impacts and a promo on Friday. Maybe we get some loading screens. Since it's a quiet week, maybe E will notice that and say, hey, let's throw them a bone. Maybe a loading screen on Wednesday or Thursday. We'll have to see and keep uh, ready for that. But honestly, this week's, again, just a lot of icon swaps grind. It's going to be a great week to trade, though, as I mentioned, just because of rarity. So definitely keep your eyes open and ready to do some trading and get on those bids, right? Bids, bids, bids are huge for a lot of this stuff, and it should be a pretty good week to trade in that manner. Of course, watch cards that are gonna get that winner upgrade like Sun, Bruno Fernandez. People might start investing in their special items that could get upgrades. So just keep that in mind too. You might see some hype alongside of those cards throughout the week this week as well. But just be careful with that. I wouldn't guarantee, I don't wanna invest on anything that's not guaranteed. That's solely based off of hype. So that's the market I'll look for, look for this week. It's looking kind of quiet. But there's a potential to make a lot of coins. If you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan with Account, and I'll catch you later. Peace.